being a Southern Californian myself, I notice all of the pollution in ports, like in Long Beach and different places. When you're when you're driving past, you can see the smog in the air. Uh, can you tell us about that and how that's affected by the transportation system currently? Certainly. There are really three large factors going on at the same time. One of them is bunker fuel. Usually these ships are uh, running while they're in port waiting. So the smokestacks are actually uh, emitting th th some of the dirtiest fuel on the planet. And then the second one is the actual diesel run uh, container moving equipment that we're using, which has been in use for the last 50 years. Uh, and then the last is the trucks themselves. And the trucks are really a wild card here because they're, they are the herd of millions of trips that plug up our freeways. They, I think of them as sort of the bad cholesterol that's on the freeway arteries because they chip away at our road surfaces and we have to spend billions of dollars fixing them. And the air quality that they create is, is exacerbated by the cars that are stalled waiting in line. Have you ever tried to get on the one and two lane of a freeway and there's a line of trucks and you're fighting them to get in and out of those, those lanes so you could get on and off your freeway? the danger in that. These are a lot of issues that we talk about. And so the environment is more than just about air. It's about safety. It's about a lot of things. And yes, we do want to solve a lot of problems. And the reason for that is because nobody's really trying to do it. 